Hello Capricorns. I am starting with your video for September 2018. You all had the most views of every Capricorn video that I had put out for September and love readings. And you guys have had some pretty tough reads. So I'm starting with you. I've got the sage going, the Palo Santo, the cleansing incense, the healing incense, because boy, have you guys had some really heaviness real heaviness in the last couple readings so we're this is what we're going to do we're going to do september outlook and we'll take it from there and i'll expand with any other decks if i need clarification for all of you guys okay so let's get started this is for september 2018 for capricorns okay general reading remember that general readings may or may not resonate with everyone Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. What is going on <clears throat> for Capricorns, September 2018? How can we get through September 2018 in a positive way? What can they do to clear their obstacles? Tell me about Capricorn, September 2018. Okay, here we go. One more. All right. What's going on September 2018? What's the overall message for Capricorn September 2018? General reading. What is the most important message that they need? The answer is no. What is going on Capricorns? Resistance. Are you fighting back or not fighting hard enough for what you need to? Okay, so y'all are you all you all are definitely going through some shit. Okay. The situation will improve because there is something better. So no. If you were in if you were trying to make changes in your life and that road became difficult and you felt like going back to the comfort of what you knew was not good for you. But it was comfortable, right? A job, a home life, a partner, whatever it may be. It was comfortable. And sometimes when the road or the path to better ourselves, to change things, to change what we don't like, what we don't want, it can be a little difficult. And you may find it a little too difficult to clear those obstacles and move forward. And so what happens? You want to retreat. You want to go back. You feel as though that there is a situation that you perhaps may have wanted to manifest a new beginning. You were trying to let go of old ways, old habits, old partnerships, old jobs, old relationships, whatever it may be. And you really thought about every single step of the way. Trying to better yourself, trying to change things. You went through a period of time where you were really changing things, which is probably why you were getting resistance from other people that didn't want to see you succeed, that didn't want to see you do better for yourself, right? But you were all about putting to death the old ways, the old you, the old habits, the old relationships. You're, you said, enough is enough. This shit does not serve me anymore. And as you went out there trying to change your ways, trying to change things, discovering that there were certain things that needed to change about how you were doing things, how you were living life, how you were approaching things. The road became a little bit difficult for you. Life isn't easy. Change isn't easy. You've got to take the struggles with stride. Because if you go back to what you knew as comfortable, not good, probably bad, you don't make any progress. You just stay stagnant and still in what you know because that becomes your safety net, your safety zone. 
if you were looking into switching careers, you're off to the right start. You probably felt as though this was going to happen a lot better, a lot faster, a lot easier for you. And you're starting to realize that, you know, maybe I lost my touch. Maybe something's going on here. Maybe why isn't this working out? you're going about it the wrong way the answer is no either this is not the right time or you were all gung-ho about a particular job or career switch and the angels are saying no that's not the right path for you that's not the right one for you if you felt like going back into your safety net your comfort zone the angels are saying no keep charging ahead everything will unfold for you because the situation will improve. Don't get stuck on that one opportunity or that one thing from your past, thing, person, place, situation, because it feels comfortable. There's something better for you. You've got to keep moving forward. Keep changing, keep dropping the bad habits, keep the self-improvement. Look at that. The wheel of fortune is saying, yes, keep moving forward. The situation will improve. And let me tell you, if you are not ready, the universe says, oh, you're about to be ready. If you have a water sign, king, uh, sorry, queen of cups that you've been dealing with or that perhaps is going to come in and help you, look at that. They're going to help you with this change in your home, your financial stability, because you are changing things. The situation will improve. You have new beginnings in love, in finance, in money. There is something better than the stagnancy you've been holding on to. The stagnancy that once you went out there to try to do things on your own, all fired up, yes, new life, new me, new beginning, fuck everyone who's been holding me back, fuck this job, fuck this person, whatever. Because a lot of you, I could feel, were very, very tired by the stress, the pain, the worry, all the bullshit that was holding you guys back. And you were all fired up to let it all go and start something new, start on a new path. And things may have gotten a little bit difficult for you as you were changing, as you were transitioning, that you suddenly started to sit there all up in your feelings like, what did I do? Did I make the right decision? Second guessing yourself. Stop, Capricorn. You guys are workaholics as it is. You already are in this mode of finding a way no matter what. So who told you you couldn't start a new path? Who told you you weren't good enough? Who told you you couldn't do this shit? You weren't powerful enough. You weren't good enough. You didn't have what it takes. Are those the right people you should be having in your corner? If you got to talk yourself up a good game 10 times more than that little ass person that's telling you you can't do this, you can't do that, then do what you got to do, Capricorn. Ask yourself, do you deserve this new beginning? Do you deserve to be financially free, set, successful in a positive, loving partnership, friendship, relationship, family life, home life? Or when things got hard and scary, did this two of swords stagnancy seem a lot better to you? There's something better for you than stagnancy. There is, and you have to believe it because it's going to come in quickly when you least expect it. Like that shit is going to come in, and let me tell you, and if it's love, boy, are you going to have so many offers coming in. Are you going to have some positive communication getting out of that stagnancy because there's something better, Capricorn. If this is about a job, a career, education, change, the emperor, whether that would be you taking charge, taking control of the changes in your life and what you want to do, your career, you get that promotion where, hey, who's big boss man now, right? 
or you just decided to quit your job and start your own business, start your own company, and it got a little scary because you were afraid that how was this page of pentacles going to create this ten of pentacles? How were my ideas going to get me those ten of pentacles? It became scary like you were jumping off a cliff, not knowing how you're going to land, not knowing if you were going to make it to the next month and the next month. It scared you so much that you'd rather go to that stagnant energy. So are you really giving it your time, your effort, your energy to take control? Because guess what awaits you? Guess what awaits you? The sun card. The sun card is here to tell you, yes, there is something better. Quit trying to hold on to the stagnant energy of the past, of the present whatever stagnant energy you were trying to release yourself from Capricorn, it's too much. Do you want to live a stagnant life? Do you want to live a happy life? Content, full of joy and peace and success? And look at that with the Empress card. Emperor and the Empress. If you're about to embark on a new business partnership, it is very, it is a very, very powerful time for you to do so. The sun card there speaks of such positive change. You're going to have some instant communication, powerful communication. It's going to come to you so quickly. But there's something better than the two of swords stagnant energy. And you've got to believe it. Or else, it, or else you're always going to go back to that safety net of the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords energy. It's all in your mind. You're overthinking. You're overthinking the two choices, two paths, two roads so much. You, you'd rather go back to overthinking and thinking instead of taking that leap of faith. You've got a lot of majors here. So September is a positive time for you to make those changes. Take action to see what awaits you. Okay, no more cards coming out. Let me get angel messages for you. Let me have an angel message for Capricorn, September 2018. Angel messages for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to hear? September 2018. <laughs> Excuse me. Angel Aurora, you are flying high right now, which may, which may threaten others, but don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Yes, look at, look at, she took that huge leap of faith. She jumped. She's ready to fly. She's ready to move forward. She's ready. Don't descend. Don't go back to that stagnant energy. Don't. Why would you put yourself through such torture and misery of going back and thinking and overthinking and wondering, did I make the right decision? You know what? If that is what you wanted, go back to the initial day time when you realized, hey, you know what? I'm not living the life I want. I'm not living my best life. This is what I want to do. And I'm going to take that leap of faith. And you did. You did, Capricorn. Good for you. Feel proud of yourself. Now keep moving forward. Don't descend. Don't go back to your safety net. It will only prolong the inevitable. I'm going to close this out with an angel of love. I'm sorry, with a wisdom of love message, oracle message for September 2018. Oh, you got a lot of cards that flew out. Let's try this again. Too many cards. I don't take more than two to three cards when they fly out, but this was like 10. No, more like seven. Still, it's a lot, Capricorn. Let me have a card. Let's see, Capricorn, September 2018. Wow. What is going on? You can't 
focus on love. You can't focus on work. You can't focus on anything. You're spreading yourself thin. You're so worried about your finances and career. It affects your love life. How can I manifest anything that I want? You get up all in your feels when no one's looking, when no one sees what you're feeling. Okay, Capricorn, come on, one card. One card, Capricorn, September 2018. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. So when when you are bogged down with these energies of how am I going to manifest this new venture, this new partnership, this new career, don't go back to a stagnant energy because it feels safe. It's not actually safe. It's holding you back. It might feel comfortable. It might feel easy because you're saying, well, at least I already know I have this. At least I already know I have this to work with or that. Or I know that this isn't going to happen to me if I continue working at this job that I freaking hate. If I continue working 10 million jobs to try to make ends meet. Do what you feel is right for you. I'm not saying quit your job and start this business. Do what's right for you. You know what steps need for you that you need to take to create this life you so desire. You're on the right path when it comes to transitioning. You're moving high, you're going places. But when you get bogged down and weighed down with the hiccups that comes with time and transformation and life changes, shift your attention to doing something nice for someone else. If you're having a bad day, you can't see straight, you're on your way to pick up some coffee in the morning, you know, it's something as simple as opening the door for someone. Because for that little second that you're opening the door for someone, you've made someone smile. You feel a little better. Maybe buy someone a cup of coffee. You know, maybe, maybe you know, tell someone how nice they look today. Something simple as that. You go to the market and you see an old lady that can't reach the top shelf and they need something. Help them out. Do something kind, something good for someone else. Doesn't mean you have to spend money on anyone. Doesn't mean you have to help someone move unless you want to, <laughs> right? You, you're, you know, offer your friends help. Offer your coworkers help. Just shift out of the mentality of lack and realize that you have a lot to give yourself, most importantly. And so when you you are giving of others and to yourself. The optimistic view of the future gets clearer and stronger. So remember Capricorn, whatever it was that made you fearful in changing your life, that got you thinking that maybe you made the wrong choice changing your life here. The answer is no, don't go back to what you know. Because what you know wasn't the best thing for you, right? Job, career, relationship. The situation will improve. You may be having a tough time transitioning and starting something new right now, but the situation will improve. Why? Because there's something better. Don't go back to that little safety net comfort zone that did not make you happy, that made you miserable, that had you hating life. You were just living day to day there was no joy there was no happiness no contentment no excitement it was just wake up work sleep wake up work sleep do something that you love be with someone who you love the situation will improve and there is something better 
with Angel Aurora. Remember, she's reminding you, don't descend. Don't go back. Don't go back to what you feel is the easy way out because you're not willing to put in the work for the life that you want. Well, if you're not willing to put in the work, then what do you expect? And when you get bogged down with the hiccups of life, remember to do something nice for someone else. So Capricorn, that was your reading for September 2018. I will be uploading uh, the love readings right after, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much, everyone, for your support. I absolutely appreciate all your kind words. Everyone who wished me a happy birthday, who sent me gifts, who sent me donations, you guys are the best. I have the best subscribers and viewers and Instagram followers. It's amazing. I feel absolutely blessed and grateful for you all. Um, if this resonated with you, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like a personal reading, all my contact information is in the description box below. I wish you guys the best, the best in your change and transition. And yeah, that's it. If you're not already following me on Instagram, find me there where I post daily and I do weekly live readings. Okay, so take care. Bye Capricorn.